July marks the beginning of the fruit's real shape assimilation. The tomato gradually develops the unmistakable scarlet hue. Additionally, during this time, plants require a lot of energy and nutrients, particularly calcium and potassium. Both of these metals are essential for all of our plants. Although calcium is significantly less than potassium, it is very significant for both the tree and the plant's leaves. Calcium has the drawback of being quite immobile in plants. And if the plant has trouble, this can often be a problem. To take calcium up from the ground, it is a reflection of the well-known fruit top rot. This is mirrored by a permanent black stain on the fruit's bottom. It becoming mushy till the apple is completely ruined. Each gardener must deal with this however, the vast majority turn to farm pharmacies for pharmaceutical remedies. And therefore use more chemicals that actually work more efficiently, but also quickly make the soil acidic, which will cause soil damage soon and will need extra attention. Raw milk and eggshells are both natural sources of calcium. But most individuals are aware of this the issue with eggshells is that that they do not contain free calcium and readily available, capable of being utilized by plants. The procedure to remove free calcium from eggshell takes a very long time, yet a procedure can be sped up significantly. That plants may swiftly extract free calcium if they receive it for only two to three weeks. The process of preparation is simple. Eggshells should be crushed and placed in a blender, and grind them to your best ability. The ideal option is to have a coffee or sugar grinder, because it can speed up the shell's disintegration by grinding them even more. Add vinegar to the powdered eggshell. You can observe the basic and acid reaction process for yourself. Once this procedure has subsided fully, released is calcium. Give it two to three weeks to stand. Check to see whether it has calmed down after that because you'll be able to see if the reaction has finished that way. Do not be alarmed by the vinegar's acidity, and that it could make your garden acidic, because following the reaction, the liquid's pH value becomes neutral, and cannot make the garden soil acidic. Because of this, this method of disease prevention is natural. Two to four spoonfuls of liquid for each liter of water is the ratio for preparing the liquid that will be used to spray bulls in the garden. Giving them pure calcium as a result. Of course, milk can also be added. However, milk draws a few extra bugs and insects. Then calcium alone extracted in vinegar from eggshell. Use turkey egg shells if you can because they are high in calcium. Use a wooden spoon to mix the solution once every several days. To hasten the reaction time, spraying twice a month with two to four tablespoons of liquid per liter of water. Press the subscribe button to support the channel if you enjoyed the video. I appreciate it.